Right, so we want to do number 19 out of the chapter 7 mastery, which says we've got 10 times the quantity m squared minus 1 is 21m. And we're supposed to solve this somehow, maybe using the quadratic formula, I think. So is this right now ready to quadratic formula? No. OK, so what do I need to do? Get everything to the left side and then. And also? Do it all out. Yeah, so we could distribute and then move, or we could move and then distribute. It doesn't matter. So let's distribute first because I don't know. Aesthetically, somehow that's more pleasing. What do you get when you distribute? 10m squared minus 10. Okay, is 21m. Good. So we subtract 21m. <laughs> So we've got 10m squared minus 10 minus 21m is 0. Move the 10 Oh, and I didn't write this in standard form, and you all want to complain about that, right? Yeah. OK. So in standard form, we have 10m squared minus 21m minus 10. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get that quite so embedded in your head. As long as you can identify A, B, and C, I'm not so worried about the standardized form. So what are A, B, and C? A is 10. Michael's so upset about this that he's leaving. <laughs> B is negative 21. So I, I can't live in a room with non-standard forms. There you go. Just throw that shit in the, standard, in the quadratic formula. Okay, so I need to remember the quadratic formula. Yes? Negative, negative B, B plus or minus, minus. minus. Square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. All right, now I, what? Plug in all, plug all the numbers. Stick those in there. OK, so I find out that x is negative. Negative 21. Negative 21 plus or minus the square root of. Negative 21. Why you change from m to x? Oh, I did, didn't I? You guys see that? Oh, yeah. I totally dorked the variable. We should totes change it. Yeah. OK. So I got negative 21 squared. 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 Minus, four. Minus 4 times 10 times negative 10. 10 times negative 10. Oh, that's going to be a really big number. And you lost a negative, didn't you? <laughs> and Twice. Ten. Ten. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so simplifying things that I know. M is 21 plus or minus over 20. What's in the plus or minus? Plus is that 21 squared? Yeah. 441 minus, or plus 400. Ah, okay, and that's the thing that probably dorked you? Because you forgot to write this minus sign, or you forgot to make this positive? I forgot to make that positive. Oh. So I was trying to subtract it, and I was like, 41. Yeah, 41 doesn't have a convenient square root. But that happens with the quadratic formula, right? If this thing that I kind of started with wasn't going to factor, obviously, then I was probably going to get something awkward out of the quadratic formula. All right, so I'm here. Uh, now what? And you just add 441 to 400 and square root it. OK, so m is 21 <coughs> plus or minus the square root of 841 over 20. Yeah, what's the square root of 841? So I can do this with a calculator. How can I try this otherwise? Uh, yeah, probably going to be not so convenient. I could try to factor it, right? Unfortunately, 841 isn't divisible by anything I recognize really quickly, right? Like 2 or 5. Those are really the two I recognize quickly. I can add the digits together get 13 and realize that it's also not conveniently divisible by 3, 
right? Past that, I would either have to know some more tricks or spend some more time thinking. I'm not so inclined to do that. So cram this in a calculator, get 29. So I found out m is 21 plus or minus 29 over 20. Did you have a question? Or? No. <laughs> okay, so now what? Okay, so M is or M is? Yeah. 29 minus 20, 21 minus 29 plus over 20 is? Okay, never mind. 21 minus 29 over 20 or 21 plus 29. Plus 29 over 20. Yeah. This one's actually convenient. What's 21 plus 29? 50. 50. So that reduces to 5 halves. And this guy gives you M is negative 8 over 20. Negative 8 over 20, which reduces to 2 over 5. Divide both by four, right? Factor of four out to cancel it. Remember? I know you did. Oh, you had it right. I was just waiting for everybody to catch up. Oh, right, right. <laughs> you too fast. You went the you went the fast way. You factored a four out. They were factoring twos out and realizing that they could get another one. It's all good. Okay, so there's my two answers. Awesome. Cool. You said for most of the stuff we do, we're going to be able to use a quadratic formula. I mean, mm -hmm. right. yeah, the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is always applicable. Okay. If you end up with a square root of a negative number in there, it's not that it didn't work so much as that it told you that there weren't any roots, right? That your parabola didn't cross. This thing tells me that the parabola crosses in two places, right? So if I was going to graphically interpret it, I'd say, okay, I've got a parabola, it's pointed where? At this stage. The thing on the m squared is positive, right? So it's to the right. So it's pointed up. up. And then it's got two zeros. That's where it hits the x-axis. So at negative two-fifths, so like here's maybe negative one, there's my negative two fifths. We hit the x axis there. And we hit the x axis at five halves, so that's like two and a half. Right? So I don't know exactly kind of how squished my U shape is, but I do know it goes through those two points. So it looks you know, something like that. And of course, there are a bunch of these, right? It could be steeper. Right, but at the very least, I know it goes through at those two points. And that's again at this level, right? Up here, this guy's about a parabola and a line. You guys see that? And then we did some funkying, monkeying around, and we got to this place where we were talking about a parabola and the x-axis instead. Cool? Questions on this? Yeah. 